This video will explain a method for constructing wastewater lift stations using the sunk caisson construction method. This method is often used for building construction when site conditions do not permit open excavation. To construct a building using sunk caissons, a sequence of concrete rings are cast at the surface. The soil inside each ring is then dug out, allowing the ring to sink into the ground. Prior to construction, it is important to understand the different ground layers that may be encountered. The deepest layer is a hard layer known as bedrock. Above the bedrock is a layer of soil saturated with water. The top of this layer is called the water table. Boulders are often found as well. After the site is cleared, the first step is to cast the bottom ring, which is known as the shoe. The shoe has an angled bottom which allows it to sink into the soil more easily. Soil is removed from inside the ring, which allows the ring to sink into the ground. Boulders and groundwater are usually not a factor this early in the process. After the shoe is sunk, another ring of concrete is cast on top and the sinking process is repeated. When groundwater is encountered, pumps are used to lower it. As the caisson gets deeper, the soil friction against its sides becomes too great and it will stop sinking. To reduce friction, a slippery mud called betonite is pumped along the sides of the caisson. More rings are cast, soil is removed, and sinking continues until the caisson reaches the desired depth. If boulders obstruct the caisson, they need to be removed. When the desired depth is reached, a thick concrete slab, called a tremie, is poured into the bottom. The tremie stops the caisson from sinking, seals out groundwater, and adds weight to the structure. Without this additional weight, the structure could float. At this point, groundwater pumping is stopped. With the caisson in place, wastewater pumping equipment can be installed and the building can be completed. Building lift stations with caissons requires a smaller construction footprint and reduces impacts to the neighborhood.